What's up, everybody? We've got about 10 minutes before we go live. I see a few of you is already making use of that super chat. I love you. I love you. I love you. I've got a little something special for you guys making use of that super chat. A little something towards the end of the show, so make sure you hang around. Make sure you click that like button. Make sure you click that share button because the more people that are here, the more prizes I'm going to be giving away, guys. You know how I like to do things. So hang tight. Just under 10 minutes. Spread the word. We're going live here real soon.
All right, guys, we are going live in just under five. Make sure you get your votes in. Use exclamation point the word vote. And then the number one, two, three, or four. Let me know how much of your retirement is going to be made up of bullion. Get your votes in. We'll talk about that in a little bit more when we go live. But make sure you're live. Make sure you have that live button in the lower right-hand corner of your video clicked so you're current. Because right out of the gate, we're going to be giving away some cool prizes, guys. Hang tight. Just under five. We're going live. All right, what's going on, everybody? 
What is up? What is up? Happy Wednesday. Let's get this in focus here. All right. So I see uh, I see we got a lot of people voting. That's awesome. And a lot of people are right down middle of the road, about 25, 50% for how much of their retirement is going to be made up of, of this shiny metal right here. Oof, I dropped it. <clears throat> so, Matteo Di Fiore, SJ Adventures. Hello, hello. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Coming in here throwing down real early. I love that. I love that. You guys that don't know, um, check out SJ's Mixed Adventures. If you like coins, uh, you know, all the fun, shiny stuff. She's got an awesome channel. Awesome to see you here. Mr. Working Class, Tom Cat, still getting your votes in. We still got about a minute or so before that'll close out. We've got a nice solid 32 people. So what I want to do, just to start things off, you know, right out of the gate, I like to give something away just, just right out of the gate. So why don't we play our, uh, our one, two, threes today? I'm sure you guys that have been here before are familiar with the one, two, threes. How many, how many of you guys are not? familiar with the one two three game how many of you guys are new did I see that Trump signed the American innovation one dollar coin act no I did not Jesse Ward what does that mean that doesn't mean anything to me so I'm confused by by your comments sir young silver stacker says they know the one two three game awesome Sun God is new welcome welcome we're gonna be playing a fun game here in just a minute Tim Holmes is new. JW is second time. Very cool. I was gonna crack a beer today, but I didn't. I didn't go with one. How'd this make it on here? This is the one I got from the uh, NECC box last month. We got 30 seconds left in the poll, and it looks like everybody's middle of the road, about 25 to 50 percent. Uh, it's even, Steven, less than 25 percent, and. Uh, yeah, so I would kind of agree with most of you guys. I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket. You know, I'm all about that diversification. So it's not just silver. It's not just gold. You know, it's not just crypto. It's not just 401ks and, and stock options and bonds and all that. What's up, Devil Dog Dave? Coming in, throwing down, making use of that super chat. Thank you, sir. I actually got something a little special for you guys we're gonna be doing later all right thank you devil dog you sir rock my socks my day is good smash boy how's yours how many of you guys have invested in this series this is from uh, who is this Great Britain yeah Let's see if we can get this camera to focus a bit here this is uh, the two two coins, so it's Big Ben and then the uh, Tower Bridge. Big Ben and the Tower Bridge. Um, I don't know. I like this series, man. It's a four coin series. It's not a crazy mintage. It's like fifty thousand, so nothing crazy. But I'm really digging that series so far. It's a weird one. It's a weird one for me to be into. You know what I mean? Leo in the house. What's up, Leo? Mike Beatty as well. Man, you guys are awesome. Leo Padilla. Padilla. I know I'm saying that wrong, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mike Beatty. Mike Beatty. Beatty. I'll, I'll say I'm so bad at... You guys know I'm so bad at pronouncing stuff. I'm like a, a big dumb ape. Like Beatty. All right. Troy does not have any of those. They look wicked awesome, except for the queenie. Yeah, I don't know. Everybody has a problem with the queen, but like, um, I don't look at that side of the coin when I'm looking at the coins. You know what I mean? I'm I'm looking at this side, and uh, I'm digging it. Danny's waiting on the last two ATB coins of 2018. You passed on the first three. I got the Ellis Island one. Let me grab that. You guys want to see the, the Ellis Island ATB? Yeah, 
here is the uh, Ellis Island. This thing is, I think this coin is awesome. It's just so shiny. Like, you could hang this thing on a wall in the bathroom. Yeah, this is this is a nice, nice coin. And I love the story that this coin tells. I mean, if you know anything about American history, Ellis Island, New York, I mean, <laughs> hate it on grandma's face. I think that's mom. I don't even think that's grandma. But this coin is, like, ridiculously shiny. I have to, like, keep that, you know, off frame. That thing is ridiculous. All right, guys. So let's do this. Let's play our one, two, threes. So those of you that are new, basically what we're going to do here, I've got three envelopes. Envelopes. They're all stuffed with some goodies. Now, obviously, they're going to be stuffed with something else just to kind of fluff them up a bit. So don't let your eyes deceive you. If one looks fuller than the other, that's not always the case, as some have found in previous weeks. So here's what we're going to do. I like to have fun with this, and in order to enter, you have to show up on my participants list. And in order to get on the participants list, you know, we got to be commenting there. So we got to get you to use a word in a sentence. And the word that we're going to use for this game is grandma. Use the word grandma in a sentence, and then uh, you'll show up. I'll copy your name, and we'll, we'll start spinning a wheel here to win some, win some prizes. I make it easy. I make it easy. So use the word grandma in a sentence, and um, don't just don't just say the word grandma. That doesn't count. That's that's no fun. There, have some fun with this. I never got to meet either of my grandmas. That's a shame. My grandma is a comedian in her own ways. Dude, my grandma was awesome. I think all of our grandmas were comedians, right? My grandma's old as dirt, Cody. <laughs> my grandma makes amazing cookies. Oh, Ask her for the recipe one day. Something you'll want to hold on to later. Y'all smell like grandmas. <laughs> grandma's cookies are great. We live in grandma's basement. Man, a lot of people lost to grandmas. I'm sorry. I lost mine too. Goodness gracious. Maybe I should shouldn't pick such a, a blue word. Grandma's not a word to use. <laughs> Your grandma made my mom do chores. Good for her. Good for her. Alright, so we gave everybody a fair chance. I'm gonna switch over to the participants list now. Uh, if you are just like getting to this late, that is on you. You want to make sure you're clicking the live button so you're current. And I've got all the names copied here. Just a second. All right. So I'm going to switch over. You'll be able to see down here the names. There we go. So I'm going to scroll through the, the list here. If you don't see your name, uh, that means you probably didn't follow my rules. And that just kind of sucks for you. But uh, you'll hopefully win something a little bit later here we go looking through the names here you go North Country off grid Mike Beatty oh North Country by the way I got I gotta respond to your email bud I got your email and uh, been a been a fun couple past couple days so I'll, I'll respond to you probably when I get off of here uh, mr. working class Mike's huh what's up buddy Logan's coins everybody everybody's in JM Englehart in the house Devil Dog Dave in the house. Cortland Kelly, what's up? All right. So that is everybody. <laughs> Moist was last week. That was a good one. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go through that list one more time. If you don't see your name, I'm sorry, but you have to stick around for the next one. I'm going through it real quick. Looking, looking, looking. All right. Now we're going to put this. We're going to get ready to spin. Whoever wins, they're going to pick a prize here, and uh, they're going to win what's ever in there. Now, hopefully you're in the U.S. If you're not, we have a consolation prize I can send out to you. But uh, let's see what we got here. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. You 
And it's a blank space. So let's uh, redraw that. I don't know where the spaces came from. I thought I was good at getting rid of those. All right, you gotta be kidding me. Woo! There we go, we got a winner. Oh man, you gotta make me try to say that. How do you say that? I'm gonna call you Tier or Tear, Tear. Rabidou, Rabidou, oh my goodness. <laughs> so where are you at? Let me know that you're here, Tier, Tier. And then uh, if you're in the US, you'll get to pick an, an envelope there. Hello, hello, paging uh, tier. Claim your prize. There we go, all right. And are you in the US? US, awesome, awesome. So now you just get to pick one of these envelopes. One, two, or three. Everybody else, obviously, help them out. Let them know what they should pick. Everybody's saying three. So let's see what they want. Da -da 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 -da. Tommy says, for sure, number one. Johnny says two. Tear says number two. <coughs> <coughs> Floppy Waffle just subscribed. <laughs> That's an awesome screen name. A lot of people saying too. All right, well, Tier picked number two. So that's what you're going to get. But we're going to start with envelope number one and just see what was in number one. What would you have won there? It would have been a one tenth ounce Nefertiti round. But you picked envelope number two. So let's see what was in envelope number three. Who would have picked envelope number three? Would it be funny if inside the envelope there was just a picture of the okay? That would be funny, Sergio. Maybe I will do that one of these weeks. <laughs> like a Whomper card or something like that. So let's see what was in envelope number three. There's our little filler. And this was a one-tenth ounce little American flag that was in envelope number three all right and the winning envelope it's here this is gonna get mailed out to you I'm gonna mail this right to your face let's flip this over and you got the gold hundo oh wow this thing is so bright you got that gold hundo so that one is for you. Um, all you got to do is just send me an email. You'll see it scrolling around the bottom there, um, or it'll pop up in the chat. But just send me an email when the show's over. Let me know what you won, and I'll get it mailed out to you. Congratulations, man. That's awesome. The gold hundo. <laughs> awesome, awesome. You're welcome. You're welcome, Tier. Saving your name. There we go. And you are on my winner's list. Go to Hondo. Always wanted to win a proof Kennedy half or a gold Hondo, Leo. I'm surprised you haven't won a gold Hondo yet, Leo. You've been here quite a bit, man. Floppy Waffle says, I watched all your videos on Silver Stacking. Wow, all of them, man? That's a lot of videos. You really watch all of them, Floppy Waffle? Do you have any more tips like buying on eBay? Man, I got a million tips, buddy. What kind of questions you got? Is it gold? Is it gold? Tommy won once, but you passed on because people got mad. Who got mad? I'm thinking that um, I might give out one of these guys. I don't know which one of these. 
but I might give out one of these. Does anybody collect these um, these state quarters? Anybody here collect those? Jesse says, what was the box that I had before the stream started? <coughs> I don't know what you're talking about. What were you what were you looking at before the stream started? Tommy says you just got to the stream and entered in one. Oh wow, Tommy. You silly goose. Who cares what other people say? Whoops. Who cares? So I asked this question last week. How many of you guys picked up that um where is it at? That Barbados Caribbean seahorse coin. Coin. Let me switch on over here. Of course, it's not ready. Give me one second. Uh, come on. All right. So I guess we're not gonna have the uh, news chat window thingy so that stinks pro beanie speedy thank you thank you appreciate that you are a gentlewoman gentleman gentlewoman and a scholar we are human yeah I don't know what's going on with it today so it's not working so I can't show you the coin but you guys can go look it up the Barbados silver Caribbean seahorse on Atmex it's like twenty dollars and they have ah crap! I hit the wrong button. They have how many copies? They have 363 left on Atmex. 363 left on Atmex. I picked up a bunch. They should be delivered soon. Your co your coin shop has a crappy selection. Sun God, do you do you shop online at all? Online, you can pick up coins like this. Well, th this may actually be considered um, a medallion, not so much a coin. But we had figured out that if you were here last week, this is the half ouncer, and then this is the full ounce. And if you look at the background behind the horse, the, the full ounce has a textured look. This one does not. Uh, this is actually how it's supposed to be on the half ounce. So that's normal. If you were here last week and you saw us talking about that, we figured that out. <clears throat> is anybody else excited for the new Godzilla King of Monsters? Man, Godzilla is boring, Sergio. I'm sorry, buddy. Monkey, did you see new silver at spot deal from Providence? Um, I did n not. I mean, I saw a vi somebody put a video out on it. I didn't watch it, but I saw the headline. Um, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to bring up the. news window again but I don't think it's gonna work so I'll try one more time Ooh, I think I figured it out there we go aha I figured it out I'm smart <coughs> Sergio is unsubscribing womp womp <laughs> Uh, let's see, where were we? The silver spot deal from Provident Metals. So let's go to Provident Metals. <coughs> I'll bring these guys up. And where would I find that deal at on their page? They have it here scrolling through their thing to let us know. Or is it hidden? Am I interested in a 1921 high relief peace dollar in BU condition? Absolutely. Why wouldn't I be? If it has some value, that'll go a long way in my retirement package. Uh, let's see. Smart monkey. <clears throat> 
What's up, Silent Sniper? We are looking at Provident Metal's new deal, supposedly, where they have <coughs> spot price something. Yeah, Mr. Vegeta, that's who, who posted it. Yeah, I saw, I saw him post something. But I don't know where it's at. Supposedly, it, there's, it's somewhere on here. I have no idea. Trending, perhaps. Specials, maybe. I mean, the only thing that's on here is a... Uh, do I actually collect silver or do I do it for money? Serious question. Do I do it for money? That's it. That's exactly why we all do it, right? It's an investment, dude. I do it for my future. When I get old and decrepit and I can't work anymore, I, I get rid of that stuff and I get money. It's just 10 silver rounds. Yeah, I don't know where it's at, though, so I can't find it. They're not doing a good job of showing it. Unless I'm just an idiot and I don't see it here. <clears throat> so I don't know. I don't know where it's at. I can't find it there. I'm sitting at work, doing work, watching this on your phone. That's awesome. So why don't we do this in celebration for Silent Sniper VT being here. I think Troy Ounce is in the house. Troy Ounce gave us a little something. Here we go. Troy Ounce sent this in to the P.O. box. And what this is, is a star note. Is this one of the star note ones? No, this is not one of the Star Note ones. Let me see. Here we go. This is a Star Note one. Let's see if we can bring this into focus here. There we go. We've got a very beautiful one dollar. Nice Star Note. And Troy Ounce, like I said, sent this thing in. Yes, it is a silver certificate. Absolutely. Very beautiful. But this one is a special silver certificate. This is the Star Note. And we've also got the one that's that's not, but both awesome. So what we're gonna do, um, we're gonna we're gonna give one of those out. So we're gonna we're gonna give one of those out right now. We've got 44 people in. Why not? We're gonna give, give that out. So if you want it, you wanna win it, doesn't matter where you're at in the world. Um, I'm gonna send this worldwide. You know, I don't care if you're in Guatemala. You know, maybe you're down in, in the thick of the Amazon. Let me know. You got an address? I'm gonna send this right to your face. Okay. I'll also sweeten that up. Oh, where is it? I'm also gonna sweeten that up with the gold hundo. All right. So the winner is going to get to pick between either the Star Note Silver Cert or straight up Silver Cert. Now this one's got some character. I'll tell you that. All right. This one here, the camera doesn't really do it justice, but this thing would look. I would. I would frame this bad boy. This thing is crisp. It's got some patina. I'll take this one. Send this right to your face. If that's what you want, you'll get that one, or you get the Star Note. Either way. You get that and the gold hundo. And if you want to enter to win, all you got to do uh, in the comments right now, obviously make sure you're live because you don't want to be behind. But in the comments, just comment the word. Let's see. Um, use the word savage in a sentence. All right. We're going to use the word savage in a sentence. And you can't just say the word. Use it in a sentence. Have fun with it. Give you guys about a minute to, to use that word. And, uh, yeah, we'll copy everybody's name over to that awesome little list of ours. And we'll give it a spinsies. I think you're a savage, says Coin Collect in Texas. YouTube doesn't let you post links. I'll check that out, uh, Mike's, huh? I'll look at the link there. The gold hundo looks quite savage this evening. <laughs> Sergio was savagely eliminated. Trey Ounce is a savage for donating. Yes, he is. He's a very kind soul. 
you guys can do the same thing making use of that super chat down below uh, you can also use the PO box you'll see that down in the description so if you're feeling froggy go ahead and leap all right giving you guys a couple more seconds here I'll actually go and refill my drink real quick give you guys a few more moments All right, you savages. I gave you guys plenty of time. Let me go ahead and switch to the participants list. I'm going to copy everybody's name. And let's see. Let's see. So that is everybody's name. Let's scroll through the list. All right, you guys can look through. If you don't see your name, it means you didn't follow the rules for one reason or another, and you didn't show up on the participants list. All right, my man, throwing down Mando Bear. Thank you, thank you. It's because of that. Super chatters, you guys doing what you do is how we're able to, to do this. So you guys rock my socks. And let's finish going through the list here. Floppy Waffle, I see. Linda Peck, Sergio, Tomcat, Tommy Soprano, Charlie. I love that name, Tommy Soprano. And North Country Off Grid, Leo Padilla, Mr. Trenolds, Rick Dempsey, Jesse Ward. All right. Did you guys see your name? Hopefully you did. Hopefully y'all did. So we're going to go through. We're going to spin the wheel. Whoever wins, you're going to get to pick between the star note, the non-star note, both silver certs, and you're also going to get that gold hundo thrown in the mix. So good luck, everybody. Let me get this gold hundo off because it's so bright. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Spin that wheel and see who wins. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da. And the winner is Mike's Huh. Congratulations, Mike's Huh. You get the choice here. Let me know which one you want to win, which one you want to take home. Mike's, huh? Can you have the description again? Yeah, so you just got two silver certificates here. One's a star note and one's not a star note. But I think the not a star note looks way cooler this one looks like it's fresh off of the uh, the press this one's got like that cool patina about it so you just let me know which one you want Mike's and uh, you can email me whichever one and uh, you know we'll, we'll get it sent out to you so I just want to get you added over to my winner's list. It's going to go with the star note. All right. Cool. Awesome. You got the star note here. I'll get this mailed out to you. You're also going to get that gold hundo. Congratulations, man. Thanks for hanging out. I see you here every week, and uh, it's definitely appreciate it. It's nice to see you coming away with a win this week. Very awesome. Very awesome indeed. Star Note is boss. Indeed it is. 
So, all right, I did want to just, oh, where'd it go? I wanted to just bring up that Here we go. All right, so here is that Provident Metals deal. If you just search for spot price, you're gonna find uh, the Provident Metals starter pack, which is 10 silver prospector rounds at spot price. So I can show you guys uh, what a silver prospector looks like in the hand here in just a second, but I'll show you on the screen. It's a really cool coin. It's definitely one of my up there coins you know what I mean it's one of the coins that I definitely like I'm pretty sure I have one that I can show you the screen in just a second this is a pretty sweet deal right now it's 166 dollars and 70 cents if you're paying cash if you're paying with PayPal 173.65 so keep that in mind it is not spot price if you're paying with anything other than cash so that's a big deal for those of you that aren't doing that um, but it's you know spot price deal it looks like brand new coins Silver prospector rounds the brand new they come in a little nifty little knapsack and they come in a little case You know a little uh, a little tube for them So I mean right now you can't go wrong. You know what I mean? You can't go wrong getting spot price deals all over town Here's a prospect around that. I've got we'll bring this into focus There we go. So this one, I don't know what year this one would be. I don't know if they do them by years, but this is kind of the same thing. You're gonna get 10 of these at spot price and you can't go wrong with that. How many of you guys like took advantage of every spot price deal that's out there right now? Silent Sapers got a roll. Peace out, buddy. It was nice seeing you, man. It was good to see you. You like the old Prospector rounds. Are you talking about the uh, angle hard ones? Is that what you're talking about? Like these guys here. These prospectors. There we go. 1983 American Prospector. Very cool little coin from Engelhard. These are these. If you ever see these in your uh, local coin stars stores junk bin, these are a good pickup. That's where I actually got that from. And you'd be surprised, guys. I, I mentioned this in previous videos. But I got like series one lunar coins from my local coin shops junk bin. Like that's pretty incredible. So don't uh, don't don't like underestimate the power of that local coin shop. Those guys sometimes they don't know what the heck they got in front of them. Uh, Leo got the silver gold bull spot. 10 ounce deal. That's like the big bar. It's like a 10 ounce bar, right? That's a pretty cool deal. I might get that one. <clears throat> you got the silver gold bull 10 ounce spot deal. Favorites, the old sunshine mint rounds. I don't have any of the old ones. I do. I, I abuse the uh, JM bullion um, spot deals. So I got a, a, a couple tubes of those. John Howard crushed them all, my man. That's how you do it. 
That's exactly how you do it. Stack it up for weight. What's up, Silver Baggins? Welcome, welcome. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, now, I've got a list here of the people who have contributed to the Super Chat over the past, um, uh, you know, this in this month. Because we just had our Christmas in July live show. And uh, with that one, we gave away some cool prizes to some contributors. So now I just want to do uh, another one just for this, this month. And it doesn't count for today's show unless it was done before we started the, the live show. But what we're doing... Ugh, if I can get everything here set up, I'm going to give you guys, the contributors of this month, hopefully they'll, they'll be here, the choice between the ABC game, and we'll let you guys pick one of those prizes. So let me just clear off this list, and I'm going to copy everybody. Now what I did was, it's like a, it's a really cool thing. You'll see your name pop up if you've thrown down on the super chat at any given point and if you see your name multiple times like you're seeing right now for Troy Ounce you're gonna see he's got put one too many one two three four five that's because mr. Troy Ounce at a certain point in the month threw down over five dollars so if you threw down over five dollars it's gonna get you an extra uh, five entries if it's under five you get a dollar you know basically like that uh, for, for the entry. So we're just going to go through. I'm just going to everybody's name who threw down in July. You guys are awesome. And I'm going to give you guys a really cool little, uh, little some something. So here we go. SJ's Mixed Adventures in the house. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got one, two, three in the house again. And you're going to see your name pop up multiple times, probably. And hopefully you guys are all here, because that would be awesome if you're all here. So if you see your name and you're here, let me know. Almost done, almost done. Star Killer in the house. You hear Star Killer? I don't know if you're here this week. I know you were on last week. SJ Mixed Adventures. All right. So this is. Justin Lomax wants some tips. Um, I can give you a bunch of tips, buddy. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff there. So here's what we're going to do. Um, hopefully this makes sense to you guys. If not, send me an email. I'll make it make more sense to you that way. <laughs> but basically, what you're seeing over here is a list of all the super chatters for the month of July up until when we started today's live show. So I'm doing this just as a little thank you to those guys who have clicked the super chat button. And those of you that have done it, you're going to see your name here on the list. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to copy this list right here. I'm going to put this on my list randomizer just so we can get everything randomized. Okay. So let me show you guys what we're doing. I'm going to copy that same list right to the list randomizer. I'm going to randomize this list. Now I've got it all randomized. I'm going to copy that all back right over to this. So we'll delete that out, copy it all back over, and there we go. Everything's been randomized, made it as fair as possible. You're going to have your name in there multiple times based on how much you super chat it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then you're going to pick one of those bags. So let's spin the wheel. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, good luck, good luck. P 
Puget Sound Silver Hound. Hopefully you are here. Come on, Puget Sound Silver Hound. Let me know that you're in the house. I don't want no maples, John Howard. Ugh, no maples. No thank you. Pugent Sound Silver Hound going once. I don't want to have to re-spin, but I will. Oh, Pugent's in the house. Awesome. So, Pugent, first of all, thank you. Uh, that's that's the first thing. Thank you for, for hanging out with me, coming here week after week. Thank you for being involved and using that super chat. Uh, you are awesome, and everybody else that was on that list, you guys rock my socks. So now, Pugent, pick one of the uh, bags here, A, B, or C, and you're going to get whatever's inside. I'm going to ship it out to you. You can also choose to pay it forward, and we'll throw it down at another point, but I hope you would uh, accept this thank you gift. Pugent wants B. That's what you're going to get is B. So let's just start with uh, A. Everybody's saying B. We got B, B, B. All right, everybody's saying A. So we're just going to start with A and see what you would have gotten. Whoop. I'll twist it up. So let's start with A here. Can we see? Can we see? See something down in there. Let's dump that out. Come on. There we go. So A contained a one ounce super shiny brand new buffalo round. But you did not pick A. You picked B. So let's go ahead and see what is in C, the other one here. Inside of bag number or letter C. We got a lot of picks for C here. Let's see what we got. C contained a half ounce silver sunshine mint round. So that was in C. And you picked B. So let us see what you won there, Pooget. You won. Da -da -da -da. You won the, oh, this boy is shiny. It's a Canadian coin. Let's see if we can bring this into focus. There we go. Look at this one. You got the Canadian. Flip this thing over. Three quarters ounce. Oh, this is, no, I'm sorry. This is the half ounce. This is the half ounce. And I believe this is the Falcon. Right? You guys tell me, correct me if I'm wrong, 2016, I think this is the Falcon. You guys tell me, what is this? <laughs> what animal is that? <laughs> who knows, who knows? Not an eagle. I don't think it's an eagle. You like it. You like it. Cool. I'm glad you like it. So you got yourself the half ouncer. It's a derp bird. I don't know. A derp bird. That's a couple people saying that. It's a falcon. That's what I think it is. Is a falcon. What the hell's a derp bird? A vulture? I ain't no vulture. Come on, man. That's no vulture. <laughs> That's an Idaho bald eagle. <laughs> it's a hawk. That's not a hawk either. I don't know what it is. Well, whatever it is, it is yours. Uh, I'll let you do the research there. Um, Puget. Am I saying it right at least? Puget. Twenty-five says it's his first time here. Been watching your videos. You're very, you're very welcome. Hopefully, you'll come back. I do this every Wednesday. I'm just gonna call that the Canadian bird coin because I don't know what kind of bird it is. How bad is that? How bad is it that I don't know what this is? That's so stupid. 
I should totally know what this is. So funny. So funny. Awesome. So I'll put that aside for you. Got you saved over to the winners list. And uh, Pelegrin Falcon. See, that's what I thought it was, was the Falcon one. But that, it's it's not. So I don't know. It's not a hawk. I don't know what else it could be. But, yeah. So thank you. Thank you. We'll do that again uh, at the end of next month. And hopefully that made sense. Basically what I did was um, it just based off of how much you guys contribute. And it, it helps build up that prize pool. I try to make it as even as I can, so so we split that out between all you guys. I like to give you guys know how I like to do it here. I like to give back, you know, as much as I possibly can. So, um, what I want to do, let's see, where is it? Anybody here collect copper? Anybody in the copper? I'm not so much in the copper. But I won these copper rounds in the giveaway. A loon. It could be a loon. Uh, thinking about buying a few copper rounds. You collect copper. Pooja collects copper. Awesome, awesome. Now why does this keep popping up? It needs to go away. Stop coming up. Um, Alright, so we've got... Excuse me. as I burp in, in y'all's ear. I'm sorry. Goodness gracious. What year is the coin? It's a 2016. 2016, yeah. So I'm sure you guys can like look up what half ounces came out in 2016. They smell bad. You dozed, SJ. Well, you were just entered in a, a giveaway, but you didn't win. You had a heck of a chance of winning, though. You were, you were all over that one. Wasn't that half ounce coin the same one you gave away during the 5K? One of them, yeah. I had like four of those things. I got. I uh, I gave one one away for the. Uh, Instagram one, one for the YouTube one. Believe it or not, somebody didn't claim that prize either. One of those ones. Copper that gets thrown out of your job and make some rounds. Well, you don't need to necessarily make some rounds with it, but um, you know, just get the copper and go take it to the scrapyard, man. If they're throwing it away. Yeah, people steal <laughs> copper from people's houses around here too. They. If you leave a house vacant, they'll go in and, and they'll strip all the pipes clean and everything. I love that copper, but silver is better auction time. I wish we could do an auction, Danny, but silver is far too cheap for, for old monkey spaz to be auctioning anything off. We gave away some cool prizes today, though. We gave away that half ouncer. We gave away one of these guys. We got two of them here, but... We gave away the gold hundo and the silver certs. And uh, Fury wants me to give away another bill, but I think what we're going to do, boys and girls, we're going to call it a night. Um, I don't know how many of you guys are nerds like me, and, and there's a show that I watch. It's called Big Brother. It's on CBS. I'm a nerd. I've been watching it since season one. Well, it's on tonight. And uh, I was hoping we can hit that 50 mark, a nice solid 50 mark, and... Every time we seem to hit that 50 mark, we seem to, to teeter down a bit. We can't seem to, to hold it there. 
So you guys know what that means. If we get to 50, I'm going to be giving away a cool prize. But we need to hold it there. We need to be holding that. So what we're going to do, uh, that prize is going to be this quarter ounce in Cuse Indian. I'm going to throw in, I'm going to add in this copper alligator round. We also have the silver 90% dime there. And um, I think JM will correct me and let me know if there's something that I'm missing that I added into this. Because JM is on me like flies on turds, you know what I mean? Cortland Kelly throwing down. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. So, uh, JM, let me know if there's something that I'm forgetting. But I'm pretty sure... This is what we've got in the prize pool. And we're going to have to roll this on through to next week. Oh, it was a gram. What, do you remember what, what it was, Probini? Which gram? Or was it just a random one grammar? Tony Silvermead. Thank you, thank you. Squeezing into the last second. Appreciate that. So it's a one gram. Okay, so I don't, let me see if I have one that's out and about. I don't have one that's out and about, but we've got a bunch of silver grams here. We'll, we'll get one of those silver grams thrown into the mix. So that's what we're looking at here. The, the quarter ounce in Cuse Indian, the copper one ouncer, we're going to have that one of those silver grams in there. A 90% silver dime, right? So here's how you can win this. This is very easy. All you got to do is spread the word about this channel. You know, click share on your Facebook, on your Twitters, on your Instagrams, whatever it is. You're spreading the word. Gets more people here. The more people that are here, the cooler the prizes are going to get. And then once we get that solid 50 mark, we're just rocking around 50 the whole way through, just throttling through. I'm going to be asking everybody how they found and heard about the channel. And then uh, every person that says your name, you're going to get an extra entry to win this stuff. So the more people that you refer, how's that working out? That's like a like a referral thing, right? It's easy. And then hopefully we can get rid of that next week. So um, other than that, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Hopefully you guys had fun. If you did, don't forget, click the like button. But I'll be back next Wednesday, same time, 7 o'clock. Right here, we're going to do it again. Give away some really cool prizes. All right, guys. Peace out. I'll talk to you all real soon.